In this video, I will show you how you can add this windmill to your scene and animate it super easily using blueprints. So let's get started. So let's start by looking for a windmill. So we will type windmill. And you can look for anyone you want. In my case, I want this one. And um, because it's free, I can download the model just like this. I can just click here. And then I will click on download the model. Okay, so as soon as I do that, it will start downloading the model. I will pause the video and come back when it's completed. Well, now that my file is downloaded, I can just click on here, right click on the zip file, extract here if you find anyone. And here you will see that I have my model. Basically, this is the file that I want, the OBJ file. And it will come with a texture too. So what I will do is to go to Unreal and I will create a new level, okay? So just go to a new level and let's just create a basic level here. Now that we have here, we can go to the content browser, create a new folder called a windmill and here we can import our model. So we can just import here. We can go to the files we had, source, and here we can go to the model and the texture. Okay, so let's import all of this. And it will import our model. Now what you will want to have, um, this is the static mesh. Uh, you don't want to build nanite for now because we don't know the size of this. And you can create materials if you want. Uh, let's just import all. Okay, so it will take a while to load. Usually, uh, let me see. Yes, all. Yes, all. Okay, so there you go. So basically, my warning was <laughs> it's importing all the things with the same name. So now I have my model, I have my textures, and I have my material here. If I double click on this, you will see the static mesh editor, and you will see that I have my windmill here. Okay, now this windmill is really small. So what I will do first, I'm going to save everything. Okay, it should be pretty fast. And now I will come here and I will drag my model, go here. And basically I will change the pivot point and the size. So if I play my game, you will see that my windmill is super small here and I don't want that. So what I will do is to go here to my modeling tools and now what I can do is rotate this 90 degrees by pressing E. I can also scale it and I can use the scale values here in the properties. If you don't see it, press F4. Now I can just put something like 10, something like that. Let's check the size of it. We can just play not big enough so let's just put something like 50 okay so this this looks big enough I will the problem is the original file hasn't changed if I go to my content browser by pressing control space and I go to my windmill and I drag another one you will see that it's extremely small again and I don't have the size so what we need to do is to change the size of this and we're gonna do that by going here to my modeling tools okay and we will bake rotation and scale just like this okay save it and this will save our details into the new asset so now when I grab another one I can just do it do it like this okay so the next thing what, that we're going to do is to separate this part of the model so we can have it rotating around. So let's do that next. So I need to select some parts of the mesh that I want to separate. And I'm going to do that by creating a box here, putting it here, complete, and then go to the poly editor. And if you need some space, you go here and make some space here. Okay go to the poly edit and here you can change you know the the width of the box we're gonna try to 
got have everything covering the windmill so let's just do something like this and then maybe something like this okay so now we can go here and we can put it in position okay so what we're gonna do is to change this a little bit we're gonna move it like this and let's remove the snapping we don't need it now okay and you don't want to cut these parts okay so what I want to do is to go here and just when I'm doing this I will extrude the mesh so I can have another face and what I can do is move it around like this just so I can I only grab the parts that I want to separate apparently I'm not touching anything here let's hope it's fine let's see this part if we come here we can see if we are touching everything okay just in case we're gonna go down just like this okay and we're gonna touch this part and let's make sure we don't touch the other part it looks like it's fine like if we go up okay there are some parts that still need to be changed so we are going here and then click extrude and now we're gonna go up but this time we're gonna grab the edge here and we're gonna move it like this let's see if everything needs okay so here you you see that there there is some bumps here and there let's accept okay and now what we will do is to go to my dynamic sculpting okay and let's reduce the size of this and let's just move this sorry uh, yeah let's just move it uh, we cannot move it because uh, we don't have much uh, geometry I guess so what we will do is to increase the geometry here let's go here to remesh to something like that okay click OK and now we're gonna do the vertex sculpting okay and we're gonna put it something small and we're gonna do something like that uh, we're gonna change this to the move one let's see if there is a move here there you go okay much better let's control C here and what you can do is just move these parts around you saw that we cover all the little parts that we're not using let's do the same here and the same here and the same here there you go last one okay and then this one and looks like we're covering everything now let's move this one okay looks looks good looks good so what we're gonna do is to now use this box to separate this part from the windmill so let's accept and then I'm gonna choose this one and this one it looks like there are some parts here that we still need to ch uh, change so let's move this around there you go click accept now everything looks fine let's grab this one and this one again and now we're gonna use the mesh cut and by doing this you can see that it's highlighting the parts that I am uh, selecting which is good uh, make sure you don't have any part here highlighted because you don't want anything to rotate but the you know this part so now that we're here uh, you can also move it if you want but we're gonna leave it like that because it looks very accurate we're gonna click accept okay and it's gonna create a new mesh let it process it there you go so now what I can do I can hide this for now and I can just if you see here I rotate it it will rotate in other directions so we need to fix that and we're gonna do that by changing the pivot point so how are we gonna do this we're gonna choose the pivot point here and we're gonna go to the center 
And as you can see, the center is not quite what we imagine. So we need to move it here. Okay, and let's just move it here. Let's just try to put it in the place where it will rotate like this, for example. Okay, let's just try to put it exactly on the center. There you go. This looks okay to me, so let's accept. And now, if I rotate, let me change this one. You can see that it's rotating. Now, there is some clipping here, especially from this part. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, if we're going to fix it, maybe we can go to the poly deform. And here we can move it. Actually, we cannot. <laughs> so, um, let's see what we can do later. But for now, actually, this windmill is quite uh, unfunctional <laughs> with the way they make it. Um, what I could do is rotate a little bit like this. Nobody will notice. And then, yeah, everything is fine. Almost fine. <laughs> we can do this again. Okay. So now our windmill looks okay. Uh, a little bit weird, to be honest. Uh, to have this windmill, like, kind of rotate. If we go back to what we had before. Yeah, just let's just try to fix this one. And the other ones, just forget about it. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to create a blueprint so that this thing can rotate. So what I'm going to do is to go to the content browser. Okay, let's let's save everything. And the level, let's just call it uh, my level. Okay, and here my windmill. Uh, as you can see, I have generated a new folder here. I can just go here and move it. Okay, so now what I can do is create a new Blueprint class, create an actor, and I will call it BP Windmill. Uh, rotator, something like that. And I will double click on this. And if you're curious about Blueprints, we have a complete course about it, over three hours that you can learn how to use Blueprints. And we have also several courses on how to create a game from scratch uh, for free. So let's just close this. So what, what I will do is to drag a static mesh here. There you go. And now what I will put is my windmill. So I will just go here and drag it. And if you cannot see it, you can just click on this. And by using this arrow, you will check that the windmill is here. Awesome. So now, uh, what I want to do is to grab this blueprint. But instead, uh, how do I put it in the same position? I can just go here to the location and copy and go here and paste it. OK. And the rotation, I can change. I could change it if I want. I can just go here if I want and change this one too. There you go. So now let's see my static mesh. Let's hide this. This is the static mesh. So let's let's move it like here, for example. Okay. Let's just move it on X. Okay. And let's move it like. 1000 units. There you go. So control H and also this one will we will move 1000 units. Great. So now uh, if we play, you will see that we have our character here. Let's let's move this one down. So we have like a space here. Remove this one. And now there you go. And now, how do we rotate this? Well, you could animate this and everything, but there is a very simple way to do it in Blueprints. So we can go here and add the rotating movement. OK, so just by doing this, we have a bunch of components that we can use. And apparently, we need to rotate around the Y axis. So we will put something like one, for example. Now that we have this, let's play from here. And that's definitely not the 
the axis you want. Oh, it, it may it it may be it, but by default it comes by 180 here. There you go. So now let's play here. And it's rotating, but it's super slow. So let's put something like 10. Okay. Play from here. And look at that. Now we have a windmill. Uh, it's pretty cool. And this is a really cool way to add animation to your projects. So if you like this video, subscribe for more. Let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to watch. I hope this has been useful. This is a really, really cool way to add multiple components to your meshes and make them more dynamic. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.